Hello everyone, this is Spluff5 here, and welcome to episode 2 of my 1.5 Let's Play. Last episode, I made a completely stone pick, and we explored a bit and found some very pretty looking wood. This, uh, amaranth wood. So yeah, I've been told I talked too long at the start of my video, so let's just get straight into it. I need food. But first... Well, um, I'm going to make a sword. Should I make a special sword? Um, I don't really have the wood, I don't think. No, I don't have the wood to make a special sword. I'm just going to make a normal sword. But... Now, hopefully we won't have as many lag issues as last time, but yeah. Let's just hope that that doesn't happen, because last episode was reasonably laggy. Also, the minimap is not Ray's minimap, it is Zan's minimap. Um, which means that the waypoint system is a little different, and you can teleport to your waypoints. Which I may or may not do. Right. Now, there were some pigs around here somewhere. Is that a pink sheep? Is it? It looked, no, it looked sort of pink. No, it's a white sheep. Maybe my eyes are just weird. There's a pig. There's several pigs. What the? That sheep is like Norwegian or something. I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay. Prepare to dime, pig. That's what I was going to say. Done. Alright, starting next episode, I'm going to change my hat every episode, because the hat's mod is installed. So that's starting next episode. Now, I am going to kill the sheep, because it has a hat. Hat unlocked. Norwegian flag. How do you do hats again? I can't remember how you bring up the hats menu. Anyway, where's home? Home's up this hill. Whoa, what's that? Oh! Some of this stuff. That's good news, you can mine it with a stone pickaxe. You can also mine lapis with a stone pickaxe, I've probably said that before, I'll say it again. It's just an interesting fact. Oh, there's lots of it. I remember there used to only be like one or two blocks in a vein, but now there's lots. Oh no, laggy parkour does not work. Alright, back in the tree. I want to maybe get a sapling from it, because I really like the look of these trees. Oh. You get one? No. But apparently the saplings are really rare. Now, I already have a sapling, but I want to get more than one sapling. For the reason that if saplings are this rare, that one sapling I have does not have a very good chance of actually giving me another tree. Like, it'll grow into a tree, but then after that, there isn't much chance. Anyway, I need to get back up this mountain. Now, oh, what's this? Copper! Good. I wonder what I can do with this. Well, I know what I can do with copper, but like, at the moment, what is there a purpose in doing? In fact, I'm going to make a waypoint right here called Jungle Hive. So when I get to doing bees... No, I don't really want it. Oh, no, I do want it. I don't want it to be visible in the nether. Um, yeah, that should be good. Right, now, you can teleport to these in creative mode. But... And they also look way better than the raised mini-map ones. They're like a beacon. Now, 
this is something I've been wanting to demonstrate for a while in a video. I'm standing inside the beacon. Everything around me looks sort of green. See? Even Wait, I'll get to a better angle. This, yeah, see this this grass block right here looks sort of greenish because of this. I've always thought that's a way that Alaram could do her lamps, her colored lamps. Where it like projects one of these beacons around you so it looks like it's emitting colored light. Right, let's ascend these trees. Oh, right. I really want to get a sapling from this thing, but... They're really rare! And we're lagging again. Okay. Where's the house? Well, cavern, cave, crevice thing. It was on this... Yeah, it was on this side of the mountain, I remember. Lag and parkour do not mix very well. Okay. Home. Now, I also want to put a waypoint here. Oh, and the reason I... I didn't actually say. The reason I changed the... um Well, I don't know, but... The reason I changed... Temp, not Tim. The reason that I, yeah, okay, done. All right, the reason I changed the key was because it's my start recording key, was the default key. See, everything looks really blue, like those cobblestone blocks. I thought that would be, anyway. So, I'm debating whether today we should go on the move or not. Now, one bit of coal would be enough to cook all that pork. Now, there's some kind of grindstone we can make, but I believe it requires quartz. Yeah, we're going to need quartz for that. Darn. Well, if we get some quartz, we can make the grindstone to double our ores. Right, let's put some stuff away. Can I do anything with earth shards right off the bat? I wonder. Uh, yeah, well, I can, oh, I can make a wand, that's useful. I can make a Thormic Aspect Sync module, whatever that means. And I can make a Solemn Drone, whatever that means. Interesting. Now, I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat some pork. Now, what... Ah, we're on peaceful. That was because I was working on another project using the same pack, and I didn't want creepers to blow it up. Now, today's tasks. I want to go... I'm going to go chop down some more wood and maybe explore tools that we can make that are slightly better. I'm just getting these random large spikes of lag. I really don't want to have to record on tiny render distance. I'm on short at the moment. And I don't know what's causing it. Oh, this tree. Alright, we're going to need some more wood if we need tools. In T-Construct, the actual resources for making the tool are quite cheap. To make the pattern and stuff, you do need a lot of wood. What would be awesome is, like, a modifier you can put on an axe to give it tree capitator. That would be really cool. Like, maybe a flint or something. Also, small bug in Minecraft. Sometimes when you're breaking a block while looking down on it, you can't actually see the block. I mean, you can see the block, you just can't see the breaking animation of it. Which is a little odd. I don't know why that happens. Right, how do I get back? Ah, yes, through here. And, yep, so I've got some wood. And I'm also going to do a bit of mining. Sorry, it's dark. But I don't have any torches with me. Oh, yeah, these can also place torches, these tools, just by right-clicking, which is 
useful. Also, Zan's mini map, it shows layers. So, that means it'll work in the nether. Hooray! Because Ray's mini map didn't work properly in the nether because on top of the nether, there's a huge layer of bedrock, and that's all it would show. Also, if you've been up to the top of the nether in creative mode, you should be able to place blocks on top of the nether. You didn't used to be able to, but when they introduced the anvil world format, they increased the height of the world. And that means that you can build like 64 blocks up in the top of the nether, which is useful. Okay. Oh. Now, I probably need... Yeah, I'm going to get a sword before I go into normal mode. Okay, this is the one we want, but first I'm going to have to craft some... Oh, come on. Alright, craft some stuff. Alright. Alright, and... Good, alright, so that'll get us enough for some things. Okay. Patterns. Oh no, I don't want to turn them all into... Okay. Um... Sword blade. Are there any other sword blades? No. Okay. Well, we'll get a sword blade pattern. Now, there are different kinds of swords in Tinker's Construct. There's obviously the cleaver and all that stuff, but there's other kinds as well. So I'm going to... Uh, I think this is... The book we want. Yes. Okay. Now, a matic could be interesting. Okay. So I could make a broad sword, which is just a normal sword. I think. Yeah, it's just a normal sword. But then there's also different kinds. There's a long sword, and it's used for speed and stuff. I think I might want the rapier. Oh, I am just reading it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ink will have the... Oh, this looks really weird. Alright, okay. First, but before we have the rapier, something very important I have to do first. And that is brighten up the video. Okay, um, where can I put these? I'll put one there. One there. One outside. And I'll save one for the cave. Okay. And this is almost dead, so we can repair this with cobblestone, I believe. Okay, so we're going to need, was it a crossbar? I believe it was a crossbar. Is the other pattern we need. Which is that one. And we have the tool rod one. Alright, I also want to make, just for future use, what's that? Just for future use, I want to make an axe head and a shovel head. Just for future reference. Alright, I need to organize this. Alright, the top row. Alright, the bottom row is for tool rods. The top row is for heads. And the middle row is for bindings. Okay. Good. Good. Now I can make... Using, I think I'll make another all stone one since that seems to be the toughest material I have. But before I do that, I want to repair mine. Wait, what does it say? Okay, and that's how we repair it. Okay, cool. That's repaired then. Right, so it, repairing it is not expensive, I have to say. Okay, in fact, no, I'll organize them in here, since this is where I'm going to primarily be using them. 
Now, I'll do it like that since there are probably more heads and crossbars than there are rods. Okay, part builder. I need to make, well first I need to make a crossbar. And the shard I will also use to make the rod. So this should probably cost, again, two. Just two bits of cobblestone for an entire tool. I think that's pretty good. I mean, that's even though it's a sword, that is still cheaper. Because you don't have to use the stick. Alright, oh no, that goes there. Oh no, you don't, duh, you don't do it in this thing. Um, you do, uh, where is it? Middle one. Uh, rapier. Yes, I did choose the right thing, crossbar. Yay, we have an offensive weapon now. And do I want to make an axe? What's a knife do? It's a throwable... That's interesting. I can also make arrows, bows, and blah blah blah. A battle sign, and I can make a frying pan. Interesting. And that's quite cheap, but... Oh dear, it's raining, that's gonna... Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put this cobblestone back. Now, what does Stonebound actually do? Because they're saying Stonebound. And I think... Stonebound means, um, basically, it, ah, oh, words, come on, yes, it, um, it, the more damage they get, the faster they mine, now, are there any modifiers, because if I have any modifiers, I'll definitely add them, uh, no, I don't have redstone, I don't have diamonds, I don't have, moss, Now, I believe there is a cheated way to make moss. So you can, yeah, you can combine that, but to make this stuff, you can just transmute, so... Oh yeah, you use the liquid transposer, but... Also, sadly, I cannot have biomes aplenty in this Let's Play. For the reason that it crashes every time I try to open the game. If biomes aplenty is installed, it crashes, so I've disabled it. Let's try that first. Okay. Well, what to do now? I mean, I've got some pretty decent tools. Got lots of food. Mining? Maybe? Yep. Mining. But not on camera. No. Uh, yes, no. I'd maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll mine, nah, no, I'm not gonna mine, I'm not going to go mining, put away torches, I am going to do something else, well, do we have any, no, we've got co what can we do with copper, there must be some early game use for copper, ooh, wow, um, which, we got the, uh, this copper, didn't we, no, we got this copper, no, I don't want the recipe, I want the use. Press U in any eye to find out the use of something. I can make a copper chest. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, mm, chest, wiring, altana, blah blah blah, this all... I don't really have the materials for any of this yet. No, I don't... oh, what the... Okay. Oh, that's a computer craft thing. No, I don't really have the... Yeah. I don't have the resources for any of this stuff. This cop is really nice looking. Oh, okay. Now, I can't make a smeltery yet. That's interesting. 
I can't make a smeltery yet, so that's off the menu. Is If this is a wax bucket, I'm gonna flip, because you shouldn't be able to store molten copper in a wax bucket. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, what kind of bucket is this? Is that an empty? No, uh, never mind. Probably boring YouTube anyway. So, what can I make with the materials I have? Oh, I can't make a bed. I know what I'll do. I'm going to smelt the copper, but in a special way, using a lot of this cobblestone. Well, not a lot, but... Quite a bit. I'm going to make a slag furnace from factorization. Hopefully the recipe has not changed. It has not. Now this has a chance to double your ore. A chance. It's not guaranteed though. And it consumes more coal, so I'll put two things of coal in there. Okay. No, that's not what I thought it was. Now what? I think... Now this rain is just going to be annoying, isn't it? I'm tempted to turn it off. Tempted. I don't think I will. In fact, once this copper's smelted, I think I'm going to go exploring. Let's find a new place to live. Alright, so we had we put six ore in. Also gives smooth stone, which is interesting. Yeah, we put six ore in. Did we? Or was it seven? No, we put six in and we already have six ingots, so this is in, this is good actually. Now, I believe I can make copper tools, although not the most flash. So, how good are those? Hatchet, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Copper, copper. Oh, here we go. No, that's Ardite. Copper. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, it's obviously going to be more durable. Ooh. And it can mine... Oh, no, that's... No, never mind. Um, base attack, one heart. Mining speed, five. Right, so mining speed, five. Durability. Hmm. Well, full tool durability for copper is 2.7 and mining speed of 5. What about stone? Oh, stone. Yeah, I used cobblestone. Are they different? Apparently not. Alright. So it'll be faster and way more durable to use copper. But I don't think I am. I think I am going to relocate. Now, is there, how do you make a knapsack? If I can make a knapsack, that would be useful. Knapsack. You need aluminum brass. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm gonna move. I've decided there's nothing really left for me here. And my inventory is gonna get very, very full after this. Oh, how am I gonna take all these patterns with me? Because they're gonna fill up a lot of my inventory. I need some kind of storage device. Is it kind of, kind of bag I can put things in? Need gold. Those are the seeds. And that needs dark iron, so no there isn't. And I can't really make two trips, that's not really an option. Um, this takes a lot longer to mine than a normal furnace. Interesting. Mm, pattern chest. Now, I have three spots left in my inventory.
Uh, well, we'll see how much we can hold. Now, is there anything unimportant? Alright, we don't need an oak sapling. Um, or that one plank. Or that old pickaxe. The only thing left there is the pattern chest. Um, one more thing we can dump. Um, what can I dump? Smooth stone. Okay, to dump another thing. Everything else is kind of important, though. I'll dump the furnace, I guess. God, okay, that's everything. I believe, yep, that's everything. Can't take the door with me. Goodbye, door. Let's go on a journey. Get up somewhere high, so I can see where I'm going. I'm so glad you can climb vines. I remember when you couldn't. I remember when vines didn't really do anything and you couldn't obtain Oh no, you could- No, you couldn't obtain them. They were just these weird things that you found in swamps. They didn't really do much. Alright. Looks like some kind of ocean down there. Could be a beach. Well, I don't know, because this jungle... Oh, yeah, at least it stopped raining. All right. This jungle seems very large for a jungle. I think we'll just head in this direction. See, I can't see very well because it lags when I up my render distance for some reason. I always thought my computer was more powerful than this, but apparently not. More of these weird purple wood trees. Hello. That was probably kind of offensive. Holding a piece of cooked pork as I was walking through a herd of pigs. And herd probably isn't the right word, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. Let's head this way. Uh -huh. Oh, another one of these... Ow, trees. Yeah, I got another sapling. Nope. Oh. Two more. Now, these trees are from Natura. I have confirmed that, so... That's really good, because Natura is an awesome mod. Especially when we get to the nether. Although, one thing that people keep saying about Natura is that it's really hard to find soul sand in the nether now. Oh, I... Oh, oh, what are you? Um, what are you? Oh, I want you. Um, uh, something I can dump. I guess I don't need that crafting. Oh no, but it's a pretty crafting table. Well, so what are you? You're a... Oh, yay! I can turn these into blue dye. Which, actually, if you... Ex there's a bug in Forge that you can exploit where blue dye and lapis are considered the same thing. So you can make things that would normally require lapis out of crushed up flowers. Now, this is a rubber tree, so that's going to be important. And I want to get a sapling. Oh dear, didn't mean to do that. Pressed the button one, no two, accidentally. A sapling, please? Please, Mr. Tree, give me a sapling. Alright, there are... This tree is really skinny. It has no saplings on it. Alright, that tree had no saplings whatsoever. Can you even get saplings from these trees? I'm starting to wonder. I'm also starting to wonder where the IC2 trees are actually in the game. Like, they're in the game, but I'm wondering... Oh, there we go. Got a sapling. And we have to dump something. Um... What can we dump? 
Uh, we... Oh, I don't need this. I don't need stone sword anymore now that I have a rapier. And get another sapling. Hello, pig. Oh, dear. That probably would have been an unpleasant sight for you. Leaves under him disappearing and this waving piece of cooked bacon underneath. Okay. I really thought this episode was going to be more interesting. But I don't like to cut my videos a lot because I don't really have anything better to do. And I know it doesn't make good YouTube, but I don't know. Alright, let's head, let's head toward this lake. So yeah, the bluebells were a good find. That means we we look look what we can do with blue dye. No, blue dye. Ah, uh, where is the one? This is the this is the stuff. All right, the usages for blue dye. You can, yeah. Well, we can use it to dye things, obviously. But we can also use it for things lapis would normally be used for. Like speed handles and even lapis lazuli upgrades. And for logistic pipes that are involved in liquid and all sorts of things that are supposed to have lapis, we can use this stuff for. It might be a little bit exploity, but meh. Okay, yay, we are out of the jungle. I don't like forest biomes much either, but it's better than the jungle. It'll be easier to traverse. Also good, lots of sugarcane. Okay, let's get rapier out because I think it's becoming night. Oh, a cow. It's a cow. Oh, I can hit it really fast. This is like a fast swinging tool. Die, cow. Die in the face. Okay, uh, we have to dump something. To get this... I, the main thing is the leather. I'm not too concerned about the beef. Oh, I don't want to dump the crafting table. Drop the axe. Yeah, I've got the leather. Okay. We get a lot of leather for one cow. Okay. Seven leather. That's almost enough to make a bag of holding if I had such... Oh. Oh. What is this thing? Oh, I'll mark it down. I think it's, it's the Thorncraft, one of those obsidian pillars. And I'll choose the color and I'll make it like a dark purple. That's almost the perfect color. Alright. Oh, and I saw another pumpkin, and pumpkins are useful. Sometimes. Oh, yep, there are bad guys out. Like that skeleton. Who just hit me in the bottom. You can kill things really quickly with this sword. Doesn't do much damage, though. That took a- Oh my god, it's a- It's a minium shard. That is really rare. Okay, um... Bye-bye, crafting table. I'm sorry. It's really hard having this inventory be so small. Oh, that's a cotton plant! I want that, too! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I want you, too. I want you. Um. We'll drop. No, I'm not going to drop the coca beans. Oh dear. Um. No. Yeah, got it. Alright. Oh, he's a smart zombie, too. I 
I remember when smart zombies were actually smart. Ah, there's too many of them! Okay. What am I gonna do? Because I've got a lot of zombies. And if I die, it'll be catastrophic, so I'm just gonna... Sorry about that, guys, but it would make this Let's Play uninteresting if I died right now. I'm going to grab as many cotton seeds, because I want to start a cotton farm. Because cotton is useful because it makes string. And string is useful because it's string. I want to get probably about 16 seeds. Alright, oh no, there's two more. Alright, oh, there's three more. Hate having to dump all this stuff, but cotton is useful. 16. That means I can start a cotton farm when I get to where I'm going. I don't know where. I oh, there's barley too. Oh, wow. Um, Oh, copper. Oh, I should have kept it as ore. Oh, wow. Okay. In fact, I'm just going to... All right, this is just so much of an issue that I'm going to keep this as another temporary home. Plus, it's a mining cave, so that's cool. I'm going to make a temporary home right here. I just don't have enough inventory space to continue. I'll have to find a way to get a new inventory. And then use that. Alright, I'm building a house around this tree. Well, I don't think house is the right word. Alright, my rapier is broken. Okay. Because there's so much really good ore around here. Oh dear, don't... Okay. I am a little exposed, but... Oh well. This will probably be worth it, because I just don't have the inventory to carry on. Oh, yeah, well, but you get cotton seeds from destroying long grass. Okay. Okay. That, that would have been useful to know. And you get, look, you get barley seeds too. Well, that would have been useful to know before now. Alright, I'm just going to set up this temporary home. It's another temp home. In fact, I'll delete the other temp home marker and move it to here. So this is temp home 2. Alright, uh, we want waypoints. Uh, okay. Temp home. Oh, I'll, I'll hide it. All right, new waypoint. T oh, I, right. Temp home two. Yeah, that's okay. All right, we now have temp home two. And what an ugly house it is. But oh well. Okay, let's put down some storage. Let's put this darn chest. Okay. Let's put basically everything inside it. Except for some things. Alright. Aluminium shards. Bleh, bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Alright. And I will also set up a, okay, I'll put it over here. A new... Alright, we want... Alright, the part builder. And I'll put in all my stuff. Alright, sword blade. 
binding head x. So I'm going to need to, I'm not going to probably leave this spot until I've built something that can hold all my stuff. All right. I need to build another one of those uh, things. Uh, it'll say in my materials new book how to build it. All right. So we have the part builder and the stencil tape. The part crafter is the one we want. And what was that? No. Oh no, we want the tool station. That's the one. So it's a crafting table and a pattern. We've got lots of wood, so that's not an issue. Well, there's the pattern and oh, okay, got it. Tool station. Okay, tool station. I really need to repair my rapier. Rapier broken. Rapier fixed. I like how you can do that. It's cool. <laughs> okay. So, I need some kind of bag, and I think the knapsack would be the best option. Okay. Now, we have several options for the knapsack. I need either gold or aluminum brass. Now, to get aluminum brass, I need to make a smeltery, and that... No, I don't think I want to make a smeltery, because this is just supposed to be a temporary base. Although, I th no, I'm going to have to make a smeltery, and in that case, I will use aluminum brass. And I did get the leather, didn't I? Yes, enough leather to make a knapsack. Okay, cool. So, I need to have, like, some kind of viewing port so I can actually see outside. Oh, yeah, it's daytime. I'm going to go mine up some of that lovely-looking ore outside. Lots of copper. Now, I also saw... Oh, there's more copper. There, I also saw a V-shard. Blue shard. Block. Thing. I really want to... Okay, if I'm going to make my house, I want to make it in a plains biome. It can't be anything other than a plains biome. It could be a biomes of plenty biome, but we don't have biomes of plenty. So, like, if we did, there would... Oh... Yeah, that is an industrial craft rubber tree. You know, I'm going to ditch my rubber tree and get one of those. They're just way better. For rubber. Because you don't have to chop them down to get the rubber. Now, I did see a V-shard or somewhere. There it is. That's it. Okay. Four V shots and some more copper. No idea what I'm going to do with all this copper, but I will probably find a use. Well, I'm going to need some of it to make the aluminum brass, but apart from that. Now, I'm going to explore this cave later. Oh, flint! Flint is going to be possibly an important resource. Because... I can use it for tools. Slightly better tools than stone tools. So, yeah. Okay. Right now, I'm going to make... In fact, yeah, we want the part builder. I am going to... Not make a gravel thing. I'm going to make a shovel. And... That's that. And we need the thing to... Alright. I'm going to make a shovel. Because I kind of have to. Alright. So it's a complete... St oh, you don't need a binding. What's this for? 
I don't know. Okay. Don't need a binding for a shovel, so I can... Can I put spare parts in here? No. Okay. Um, I guess I'll keep it in my... Okay, so I filled that entire thing up. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to need to make another chest. I can't believe that I have to make another chest. I'll use jungle wood because jungle wood is not very important to me. Oh, we don't actually... <laughs> We don't actually have a crafting table yet. We need one of those. Now, I'm not yet going to smelt this copper. For the simple reason... Why did I put that there? For the simple reason that it gives you more when you use a smeltery. So I'm going to actually have to make a smeltery. Which is a little ridiculous. Now, I'm going to work with this gravel, so I'm going to... Right. Also, I would like a door. A door is what I'd like. Hey, hey. Because... Right. I don't like just having to block up the door every night. Okay. Do I have any torches in here? Yes. All right. So, Temp Home 2 is coming along. I can also make another pattern, which is good. In fact, I'll sort this chest. Just use the middle mouse button to sort things. It doesn't work in creative mode because you pick block with sort. Okay. I'm going to work with this gravel and get some flint. No, we can make we can make flint tools, but apart from that, I think flint is used for a couple of other early game things. Also, no Greg tick in this let's play because Direwolf doesn't like Greg tick. Well, I don't know if he likes it or not, but he doesn't use it. And this is his pack, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to eat soon. Luckily, I have all that pork. Not getting very lucky with these. I think I just jinxed my unluckiness. Does that work? I don't know. Not getting very lucky with these, either. I said, not getting very lucky with these, either. Done. Alright. Trying to cheat the system doesn't work. And my shovel is almost deceased. You know, I could actually live in this forest. I could. If I dug out lots of room for just... Give me flint. Now. Come on. Thank you. Got it. All right. Yep, I think I will make this my home forest. I was going to say plains, but no, I guess I won't. Also, I will repair my shovel. Yeah, in this thing. All right. Shovel. I command you to repair. No, oh, that was easy. So yeah, Flint has some tool building properties about it. Could read materials in you and find out what. Nope, wrong materials in you. The other materials in you. Right, and Flint. All right, Flint, it's better, isn't it? Yeah, it mines quite a bit faster than stone. And it hits twice as hard. 
and doesn't last as long. No, it lasts a little bit longer, not much longer. All up, it's just a way better material. So I think I'm going to disband my old rapier and make a new rapier. Sorry, old rapier, but to keep up with modern times. Now, people out there are probably screaming at their screens, No, don't use flint, it's terrible. Well, I guess I'm about to find out how terrible it is. Or maybe I'm just being weird. I, I've probably missed something and it's going to be awful. Let's find out. Uh, Jubilee 83 out of 80. Wait. If I put it in, durability 83 of 83, is that how many uses it, ha uses it has? I don't know, but what's this one? Oh yeah, it's way better. <laughs> it's way better than my old rapier. Well, I've got new rapier, and do I want a new pick? Not for the moment. Right. Now, I wouldn't, I'm obviously not going to show strip mining on camera, but I... I'll show cave exploring, because you can find interesting things in caves. Right. I put my torches on the right. So, you've left when you follow them on the left. Alright. I'm getting experience, but I don't actually know what to do with it. Uh, yeah, let's leave the coal for now. We can always come back and get it. Wow. Is that really just... Is that the cave? I've had two dud caves. Though some people say that gravel does lead to cave. So I'm going to dig through this gravel and see what I can find. Yeah, I hear cave noises. Show me the cave. And I got a lot of flint out of it, and flint is becoming a very useful resource for me. Oh, come on, be another cave, please. Well, my pickaxe broke. I mean, my shovel. I officially have nearly a stack of gravel. Well, that helped. I did hear a cave noise, though. Maybe I'm not really... I mean, this isn't really strip mining, but no, maybe there isn't a cave. Okay. Plus, did that just break? Yep. Okay. To leave, you follow the torches on the left. And you will have left. Using the torches on the left. Makes sense. Is it night? It is night. Alright, let's get to our new temp home. If we can find some sheep. Alright, we got some... Some stuff. We got quite a bit of coal. So yeah, not gonna do that. Alright, I need to repair my stuff. So I just need... Love being able to repair things like this. It's really, really helpful. Repair. I guess, yeah, the more expensive the tool your tools are, the better they are, but also the harder they are to repair. But also the least you have to repair them, so... Yeah. Now, how long is this video? Alright, I'm going to cut the recording here, and I'm going to go see how long the video is, and I'm going to come back. So, yeah. Holy mackerel, this video is nearly an hour long. I was aiming for half an hour. I missed. <laughs> yeah, I missed. By quite a bit. Wow. 
Oh well, um, I guess might as well make it an hour. I decided it's too hard. I'm not going to have a set time limit for my videos in this series because I do need to set time limit these days. I just want to do a bit more lighting up so we don't get zombies and things. Oh! I did not see that. Probably mind that or Oh, Certus Quartz! Yes, 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 yes. We can use that to double our roars early. Oh, that's good. That is very much good. Okay. Hopefully I can mine it with a stone pickaxe. It says mining level iron, but that only means that it can mine iron. It doesn't mean it's a, as good as mining as an iron pickaxe. Oh, yes, and I need to get some more of this barley stuff. Can I just plant this on the ground? No, I can't, even though it just grows on the ground. Oh, wow. What happened to him? Um, he does realize he's got a pickaxe. Oh, wow. Thank you, Hats Mod, for this lovely spectacle right here. And there's a spider, too. Alright. Run away! Okay. Deposit stuff. Now, if I die, it's going to be bad, but at least I've got this waypoint. Oh wait, actually, I should probably heal first, before going to take on the spider and stuff. Alright, there we go. Now, heal. Oh yeah, not stone rapier, I want to try- okay, this will be the first try, using the flint rapier. Oh, I'm eager to go. All right, I can get that hat too. Where are you? Here you are. Well, that worked well. Didn't get any string, but that did work well. Oh dear, there's there's two of them. This is this is amazing. This. This is way better than my other one. Anyway, back to harvesting barley. With the neighbors. Okay, this is getting a little out of control. A little bit. Okay, but we're getting lots of stuff. Yes, I'm going to make a farm next episode, I think. Some barley, some cotton, all that good stuff. Uh, do I have the resource for any armor? Not really. I'm going to use that for a knapsack. I don't think I can make copper armor. Let's see if I can. Uh, no, only bronze. Okay. Is there some way to set my spawn here without sleeping? I don't think there is. Oh, you bum. Oh, I actually got a bow. Alright, there's a lot of... Alright, that almost killed me, but I got some bone meal. Which is good. And an actual bow, so... It's kind of weak, but oh well. Let's heal up a bit more. I just kind of wait. want it to be daytime. Come on, be daytime. 
But I think I'll end off the episode here. We've done a lot today. We've relocated. Gotten all sorts of things. It's actually been quite a productive episode. Next episode, I'm going to actually start building something proper. And I'm going to build a farm. And I'm also going to clear some land and all that stuff. Okay. See you guys then. And goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed.